Key takeaways. One, a platform network can grow quickly because growth on one side of the network attracts more users to the other side. As the result of network effects, a network that is too large may collapse if the platform cannot facilitate useful connections. Two, the architecture of a platform relies on five elements. Users, the item that users will be exchanging, currency, the filters that help the user select a producer, and the information used to make that decision. Three, platforms grow faster than traditional businesses because they have low costs of distribution and growth, can leverage users to automate processes, and use predictive analytics to better serve customer needs. Four, a new platform must recruit users to fill all roles in the network to serve its purpose. Five, a profitable platform charges users or third parties only when doing so does not deter users from joining and participating. Six, platforms take differing approaches to openness depending on what they can afford to expose to competitors and what they want to control. Seven, internal policies for platforms preserve trust and value for the user and maintain realistic expectations. Eight, metrics for the health of a platform's network differ based on the platform's stage of growth, but should always measure the platform's value for the user. Nine, platforms compete by discouraging multi-homing, that is, when users adopt more than one platform for the same purpose. 10. If negative externalities from a platform are significant, regulators should consider whether the platform's internal governance can reduce those externalities or whether the platform is promoting anti-competitive behavior. 11. Many industries, including health and education, are ideal candidates for platform business expansion because they rely on information exchange have human gatekeepers, are fragmented, and have information asymmetries.